Howdy, y'all. I just wanted to share something with you that I thought was just delightful. So these are the cookbooks that Kelly sent me. They're all wonderful. But this one had a special surprise. This is Grandmother's Country Cookbook. And in the very back, it has a section entitled Things Worth Knowing. And just before that, it has a lovely little section filled with blessings to say before you eat. They're beautiful. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to thy name, O Most High. And it's just all different kinds of just short prayers to have. Yeah, so that was really, really cool. But this... It's got so many different, and this is very old-timey stuff, but it tells you how to do stuff you might expect, like making different kind of flavored sugars. And it's got little things like how to roll bread, how to make um, tarragon vinegar, how to bake a lemon or an orange, how to get more juice out of a lemon or orange, how to chop suet, how to dry apples, how to blanch almonds, how to salt almonds. And then here we get into some more interesting things. How to put out a grease fire. How to clean a looking glass. How to clean silver easily. How to make an old-fashioned rose jar. How to prevent hinges from creaking. And this can be simple. Rub a feather dipped in oil on the hinges. How to make artificial coral. How to make bar soap. How to make lard. That's kind of extensive. And then here's some odds and ends. A dish of hot water set in the stove will prevent cakes from scorching. Gather herbs when beginning to blossom and keep in paper sacks. Pick nutmeg, prick nutmeg with a pin good oil will run out. To remove a tight ring, hold hand in very cold water. If your coal fire is low, throw on a tablespoon of coarse salt and it will help it very much. Dish water and soap suds poured out by the roots of young fruit trees and berry bushes will facilitate their growth. This is so, this is so neat. Cranberries will keep all winter in a keg of water. Cover lemons with cold water changing every week, and this will make them more juicy. Keep parsley fresh and green. Place in a large glass jar, cover tightly, and keep in a cool place. Put a half a cut apple in with a cake. Make fresh bread slice easily. Refrigerate it. To measure molasses or honey, grease the cup in which it is to be measured. It, that is so neat. And then... It's got some old-fashioned remedies and beauty secrets. Uh, pleasant and soothing foods for a delicate stomach or a convalescent, including beef tea, chicken broth, beef and sago broth, calf's foot jelly. I, I don't even know where to begin to get a calf's foot. <laughs> Elixir life. Now, I found this very, very nice. It's butter and honey. In the proportion of two parts fresh melted sweet butter and one part good orange blossom honey. Whip up and spread on toast. This is grandma's and great grandma's favorite remedy for a sore throat or chest cold. A favorite food for generations. Rejuvenating the glands and renewing their activity. Isn't that cool? And then how to make a tonic. Um... I don't know what that is, but it's supposed to be good for a cough. Dissolve three or four lumps of loaf sugar. I don't I don't know that you can even buy loaf sugar anymore at the grocery store. In a glass of ice water and take a tablespoon every few minutes for a tickling throat or hacking cough. Keep it ice cold. This is a simple, old, but often efficacious remedy. Jelly water. Grandpa's apple toddy, milk punch with spirit, beef tea custard, eggnog, 
arrowroot wine jelly. So these are all home remedies. Um, toast water, apple water, herb teas, including sage tea, catnip tea, penny royal tea, chamomile tea, blackberry root tea, green strawberry leaves, parsley root, mint tea, uh, damask rose tea. Here's an antidote for poison. It tells you how to make a, a homemade purgative out of salt and mustard and water. And then afterwards, swallow the whites of two raw eggs. Ooh, yuck. To relieve asthma. This, this is odd. Soak a blotting paper in strong saltpeter water. Dry and burn at night in your bedroom. An excellent prescription. This, this is very strange. C cure for burns. Ivy poisoning. Um, ch chapped hands. Sunburn to remove corns. A piece of lemon or cranberry mashed, bound on the corn, will remove it readily. An excellent way of improving the hair. A hair tonic. Hair oil. Milk of Roses, Excellent Pomatum. So I guess this is like a pomade, like for men's hair. Uh, good Hair Oil to make hair curl. Old Fashioned Toilet Ideas uh, for rough hands in the winter. Care of the Feet. That's very important. For Wrinkles, Freckles for the Complexion. To refresh the skin, lavender water, jasmine water, homemade toilet water, lotions, recommending buttermilk, oatmeal lotion, watermelon lotion, cucumber lotion, witch hazel jelly, <coughs> excuse me, beauty secrets from grandma's garden, strawberry lotion, fresh berry lotion, strawberries and cream, for preventing wrinkles. Spring Garden Lettuce Cream. Potato Mask for an oily skin. Onion Tonic for hair. Now that would probably smell so horrible. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to stand it even if it worked great. Fresh Cucumber Sachets to soften and whiten the skin. Okay, and then it's just got some menus here. But I just wanted to share... This little section called Things Worth Knowing. And if you heard something you're really, really interested in, then let me know in the comments and I will uh, write you what it says about that item. So yeah, I just thought that was super interesting. Um, it has all kinds of stuff besides recipes in it. It's just great. So thanks for joining me. Let me know if you want further information on any of grandmother's country remedies <laughs> thanks y'all be sweet